Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you the structures in HCM. There are three structures in HCM. The first one is enterprise structure. The second one is personal structure. The third one is organizational structure. In this lecture four, I will be teaching you enterprise structure. What is enterprise structure is made of? So enterprise structure is made of client, company code, personal area and personal sub area. What is client? A client can be defined as a person, company, or organization that purchases goods from another person, company or organization. This is a definition of client. But in terms of SAP, what is client? In terms of SAP, a client is defined as a unit that has its own master records and a set of tables. So a client is a self-contained unit in the SAP system with separate master records and its own set of tables. For example, we are logged in client 800. So in the previous lecture, you must have seen that we logged in client 800. So this client 800 will have its own master records and its own set of tables. So if an employee changes from one client to another client, then that employee must be assigned a new personal number in a different client. Client 000 is delivered by SAP and this should not be changed. What is company code? Company code is an independent company with its own accounting unit, a company that draws up its own balance sheet, means like the profit, loss. So these profit and loss transactions are made at the company code level. So in SAP, company code is identified by four character alphanumerical code. So when we do practical, it will be more clear to you. So I will be showing that after I complete the slides. And company code is configured by SAP finance consultant. But as a HR consultant, as an SAP HCM consultant, you need to know the company code because it's a part of enterprise structure. So what is personal area? Personal area is a subdivision of the company code. So in the previous slide, if, I, if you see here, I have given example like company code is like ZSS chemicals. It's a company code. And ZSS Electric, that's a separate company code. Now, personal area is a subdivision of the company code. Like ZSS Chemicals US, ZSS Chemicals Australia. So these are the two personal areas under the company code ZSS Chemicals. The personal area could represent different physical locations also. Or reporting areas it depends on the client it depends on the company how they want to differentiate personal area and company code and personal sub area which is the next component of enterprise structure so this personal area will be assigned to the company code what is personal sub area 
पर्सनल सब एरिया इज फर्दर सब डिविजन ऑफ द पर्सनल एरिया सो द पर्सनल एरिया वॉज जी एस एस केमिकल यू एस न अंडर यू एस द पर्सनल सब एरिया कुड बी जी एस एस केमिकल शिकागो जी एस एस केमिकल ह्यूस्टन सो वी फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विथ कंपनी कंपनी कोड पर्सनल एरिया पर्सनल सब एरिया सो इफ यू सी दिस डायग्राम हियर इट इज मोर क्लियर सो क्लाइंट आई हैव गिवन जी एस एस इंटरनेशनल बिकॉज दैट इज अ सेपरेट क्लाइंट इट कुड बी लाइक एनी लाइक एट हंड्रेड और हंड्रेड विद द कंपनी द क्लाइंट ओन मास्टर रिकॉर्ड्स एंड सेट ऑफ टेबल्स विल बी स्टोर्ड नाउ कंपनी कोड GSS chemicals is one of the company code or GSS electrics is one of the company code now under the company code GSS chemicals there are two personal areas that is GSS chemicals UK and GSS chemicals Australia now again under UK there are two different personal sub areas like gss chemicals uk london or gss chemicals uk brussels in my example in the previous slides i have taken example of us so if it is us then under us i have given example of like chicago and houston so this was the enterprise structure hope you understood it. it's it's very simple you have to know the structure of enterprise structure it's made of client company code personal area and personal sub area one important thing here is if you see the personal area the personal area is assigned to the company code one company code meaning that the the personal area zss chemicals australia it cannot be assigned to both the company codes like zss chemicals and zss electrics it will be only assigned to one of the company code because company code is basically you know it takes care of the profit loss transactions so ultimately that personal area which is assigned to that company code it reports all this profit and loss transactions to the company code so this was the enterprise structure and in my slides i have given you the how to configure in sap so let's go to sap and see how we can configure it so let me log on to sap so i'm using the client 800 and entering my user id my password hit enter this is the first screen you will see in sap now remember this is very important to remember here the this is the command bar this is the command bar so i am entering spro spro is a transaction code which will take you to the configuration site where you configure whatever the requirement from the client so i entered spro i hit entered so this screen will come click on the img IMG full form is the implementation guide. Click on that. Now, if you see in the first lecture, I told you there are so many modules in SAP. If you see, there are SD, sales distribution, material management. There are so many modules. But we are working on SAP HCA. Now, let's configure the enterprise structure. so if you see here this is enterprise structure 
expand this one now first you have to go to the definition here I told you enterprise structure is made of company code comp client company code personal area and personal sub area and I also told you company code is a part of finance so it comes under financial accounting in real time you will not be configuring the company code SAP finance guy will configure it in SAP finance accounting section so just for our practical I, I have to show you where the company code is because without company code you can't go further down because it's a part of the enterprise structure so let me expand here so under the enterprise structure I clicked on definition under the definition I clicked on finance shell accounting and this first I'm defining a company so I click here on this clock and this takes me to this screen remember whenever you are into this screens there are three steps to be followed whenever you're configuring anything you have to click new entries for example I click a new entry I put some company no name like X Y Z once you make the new entries then you have to click on the save if you place your cursor it will show you the name save so when you click save okay this entry is already okay so I am putting the country country here US this entry is already existing so let me put something like uh, uh, IBM 1 something I press enter so when I save this so what happens if there is one more screen coming up it will pop up that screen or else if there are no screens then it will show you this prompt what is this prompt in my previous section I told you that there are three servers there is development server there is a quality server there is a production server so when you have to move the data from development server to quality so that data will be stored under this request number which comes up whenever you create some entries and save them so now I am working on the company so I am working on the company defined company so what I did I clicked new entries I entered some name I clicked save then it popped up this particular screen meaning that that data is getting stored in this request so what you did in the real time you give this number to the basis people and they will move the data to the other server so you click on this icon which is continue or you can press enter on the keyboard either is fine so it says data was saved I just showed you how to create a new entries and save and this is uh, I would say uh, same way for everything I mean whatever you have to configure for anything in SAP SCM you click on this particular clock here you click on this this screen will come you click on new entries you enter some values click on save and that prompt will come up I have basically configured a company called as uh, Zenith software solution this company I created so I cleared the new entries and I gave the name of the company company name so let us go and see the details so this so uh, magnifying glass will show you the details what I have configured so if I click on details it will show you the same screen which when you click on the new entries 
so i gave the name of the company like zsfs zenith software solution this is the company not the company code this is the company a global company zenith software solution so i have created this company after creating the company then this is the company code which you have to create i mean you have to create in the sense like sap finance guys will create but you need to know exactly where the company code is stored in the configuration so click on this this screen will come then edit company code data this screen will come here also same methodology you click on the new entries give the company code name currency save it again it will prompt you with the same pop up box when the number request number will be there so what i have done is i have created a company code zenith chemicals so if you want to see the details whenever you want to see the details you have to click on the magnifying glass click on this so this is what i configured zs ch zenith chemicals so this is the name i have given to the company code so i enter some additional data here like city country currency language these are the optional and remember one thing very very important some of the fields are very mandatory how will you know those fields are mandatory there will be a small tick a tick mark if that is a small tick mark that means that field is very mandatory you have to enter some value in that field otherwise the system will not allow you to save the data so this was the company code to go back you have to click on this icon so you have to click close here so what have you done under the enterprise structure you went to the definition under the definition you first went to the financial accounting why because company code is a part of financial accounting so we know the company and the company code now i am closing this so i just click on the small icon it got collapsed so now under this you will be seeing human resource yes if you expand yes here you will see the personal areas and sub areas so personal areas sub areas are part of the human resource but as a part of enterprise structure company code was also a part but it is a part of finance but in the structure it is a part of hca so again as i told you personal area is the sub division of company code so what i have done so what you do is basically you click on this clock it will take you to this screen click on the personal areas it will take you to the screen so now you might be getting a uh, understanding about like how the screens are very similar like you have new entries you click on the new entries you fill up the values you save it it will be showing up in this list so i have created two personal areas one is canada one is us zenith chemicals canada zenith chemicals us both are from zenith chemicals company code so i have created a company then i created a company code called zenith chemicals now here i have created personal areas under the company code zenith chemicals so how many personal areas are there here two 
one is us another one is canada so so you know right how to create you have to just click new entries enter the value save and it will show up here i go back i'll uh, close this one now i'm going for personal sub areas what is personal sub areas personal sub areas are the division of subdivision of personal areas i clicked on this one so when you click on this clock it will take you this screen now you click on create personal sub area so when you click on this system will ask you okay you want to create personal sub area but under which personal area then what i did i basically gave this like zs us like zenith chemical us how this screen came up i'll close i'll show you this is small icon here either you click this small icon here or you can press f4 f4 either this small icon or f4 so when you click on this it will show you all the list of the personal area which you are trying to search now i clicked on this zenith chemicals us and i press enter so i already created two values because the procedure is same because you have to just go click new entries and then you have to enter the personal sub area and the text so but i've already created it so how many personal sub areas i have created under us two what are those zenith chicago zenith houston so now we have created company company code personal area personal sub area now till now they have not be as they have not been assigned to each other meaning that they have been created stand alone like i created company alone i created company code i created personal area sub area but i have a join to them together so let us join because this was a definition we just defined them we just defined them separately but after definition we have to assign them to make a structure right so that structure comes after assignment so i'll close this one i close the definition now i go to assignment see this is the assignment i expand this one in the assignment also you will be working with two things financial accounting and human resource management so when you expand financial accounting this is the first node which you will work because in the previous definition <coughs> in the definition you define the company and you define the company code but here you are assigning the company code to company because without assignment how will the system know that which company code belongs to which company that is the reason why we do the assignment here so i click on this clock here and then this is the company code so i i click on the position position is basically the way to sort where what are you trying to sort so i i'll put my company code zsch uh, i hit enter so it will show you me here so what i have done i have assigned my company code to the company company code was zsch zenith chemical and this company code i have assigned to zsfs which is nothing but zenith software solution if you go back to the uh, previous uh, slides i would say uh, the configuration uh you have seen that i have created zenith software solutions as a company so here we are basically assigning company to the company code so we have done this now we have to go to the human resources here 
we have to assign personal area to company code if you see my slide if you see in my slide the graphical diagram like the personal area has to be assigned to the company code so if i don't assign the personal area to the company code how will the structure know which personal areas belongs to this company code for that reason we have to assign the personal area to the company code so i am clicking this clock this screen will come see assignment of personal area to company code go to this position here just sort out your personal area i think v s c h uh or us i think so so z s u s here so if you see here the personal areas there were two personal areas zenith chemicals canada zenith chemicals us both this uh, personal areas <coughs> i have assigned to the company code z s c h which is zenith chemicals so i assigned personal area to the company code and also i have given which country do they belong for example like because this is very important country grouping number has to be entered this number 10 is used for usa sap has given the country grouping number 10 for usa 40 for india and there are some other numbers also which sap has given so i have assigned number 10 so this completes the structure <coughs> so basically we started with company company code personal area sub area we first defined them and then we assigned them without assigning the structure will not be built up because they were just pieces now we have assigned them the structure has been built up so that was enterprise structure hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture so the next lecture will be personal structure so whatever i have shown uh, practice yourself with uh, different uh, company company code personal area personal sub area but my advice is you know take a notebook design your structure don't just think in your mind because when you think in your mind you know you may lose it because going further these structures are very uh, i would say important down the line of the course because these structures will be used anywhere so uh, make a habit of uh, you know uh, keeping a notebook uh, drawing a structure giving some names and just follow whatever i have shown okay thank you thanks